I forgot how salty the ocean is. Good morning. So this is where I slept last night. Drove from Quebec to here yesterday. Just kind of stopped at the like eighth turnoff I saw, and I ended up here. So I drove for like 12 hours yesterday. Pretty much worth it, in my opinion. I'll tell you about my trip up uh, as soon as I get some coffee and then I'll also take you guys to uh, Cape Breton National Park. You ready? So I'm at the base of a trail called the Skyline. It's supposed to be one of the best places to look at in the Cape Breton National Park. So I'm gonna do it. Quite a bit of people here. There's actually like a bus full of kids here. So that should be pretty fun. Full disclosure, I don't have an extra battery because my shipment didn't come when I was leaving. So if I cut the vlog short here, it's due to the fact that my battery ran out and I have no way to charge it. So I apologize, but I also need to take some pictures. Let's do it. Shall we? Just realized I haven't eaten anything today and I kind of have to do that if I'm going on a two hour hike. So I'm hoping this cliff bar works. So the first leg of the trip, I came. From, I went from Ontario to Quebec. Uh, nice drive. I haven't been to Quebec in like eight, nine years. Forgot how nice it was, especially the St. Lawrence Valley. It reminds me more, most of like the uh, Lake Country, BC, where you have like the St. Lawrence Valley, and then on the other side you have the mountains in, in Quebec, and the other side you have like the Appalachians. It's just awesome. And then, so I slept in a rest area the first night. No one prepares you for how vulnerable you are living in a car. Like I've lived in RVs and whatnot, but sleeping in a car is just, just completely different. You feel so exposed. See this fence right here? It's a little enclosure designed to keep moose out. What they're doing is a 10 year study in forest growth uh, because the f highlands have been ravaged by, I thought they call it, I think it's a spruce budworm. And when the spruce budworm came through, it wiped out all the spruce and the uh, first succession of trees that started to pop up. The, the moose loved them so they wouldn't, they, they'd eat them and they wouldn't have a chance for the forest to grow. So essentially the park is just studying and analyzing forest growth and see how they can mitigate the effects of forest loss. And the second leg was from Quebec to Treaty Camp, which is like 20 minutes down the road from here. I uh, stopped at a Tim Hortons or a truck stop yesterday and uh, was watching some YouTube videos and whatnot, and charging my phone. So I had a cord run across the, uh, I had a cord that was running across the, the floor, and then some dude came up to me and spoke some French and put a caution wet sign out. I have no idea if I was getting scolded or not. If there's a lot of wind, I'm sorry. But check out this view. Okay, so I just got into some board walk. And while I was walking through it, I always said, you know, watch out for biodiversity, don't step on the plants. You know, that's a good thing. 
I like to hear that as an environmental science student. I love to hear that. It's good stuff. Okay, so this is where the boardwalk brought me. This this, this place exists. It's just like I'm gonna walk back up it now because I have more places to look at. See all these kids here? I just took a picture for all of them. I'm a bit of an idiot. Didn't bring a bathing suit, didn't bring a towel. I have no explanation for that. So I'm gonna persevere, wear a pair of shorts, dry myself off with a t-shirt. I'm gonna go take a dip in the Atlantic. Took the tattoo, the tattoo is not going in the Atlantic. Cold. 